We're ready. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the Fix This Build That Sunday Night Live show. I'm Brad. I'm Susan. And uh, happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I hope everybody had a nice little Valentine's Day. And, <coughs> and uh, <laughs> for all this stuff that's going on, my gosh, with the, the, the weather and the rain and the sleet and the snow, it's, it's going to be crazy. It is. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> more about that later. But just welcome to everybody. If you're on Instagram, come join us on YouTube. Fix This Build That Live is the second channel. And for all the YouTube folks, uh, what is up? Let's see who we have over here. Uh, we got uh, JP. What's up, JP? We got Nailbender, uh, Stan Powell, Toby, Tyler, Brian Farnth, Cannon, and Wood Butcher. Awesome. We started a little bit early. We How did. about that? We're two minutes it's early a first. instead of, I know, this, this <laughs> it's might a be a Valentine's first. Day miracle. Let's see who we have over here on Instagram. Just another loser. What's up? Uh, we got Jason. Just another loser. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Harley Builds. <clears throat> How's it going? We got Flip Moray. Uh, we got Sober Bumps, Steve's Miami. Creative. We got uh, Rory from Australia. What's up? Wix Woodworks. Pablo. What's up, Pablo? We got uh, my mom in the house. What's up, mom? Hey. Uh, Adrian, thank you so much. Striker Woodworks from Victoria, Canada. Cumberland City Creations. Man, we, uh, High Ridge Handyman, what's up? Evans Workshop. Wallam Lake. Awesome. And the Wooden Mustache. Corey Matthews, everybody. The Wooden Mustache. Uh, yeah. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Do you think that Valentine's Day, is that like... And is that celebrated everywhere today or? I don't know. For all of our folks that are not in the U.S., like, is today Valentine's Day in your respective country? Here in Australia Let us know. or Brazil We would love to know. Everybody's saying happy Valentine's Day over here. Yeah. Uh, before don't we know. jump into things too much more, uh, well, I guess what we did for the week. Um, this week, we uh, I was doing some building. It's right down here. Yay. I'm doing a new charging station. So that's the video that I'm working on right now. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be like a, a bigger version and it's going to have more stuff and things and uh there might be a little cameo from somebody you may or may not know yes i don't know we'll we'll see it's not me it's not her it no. kind of sounds like you but were implying no 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 it's not but <laughs> we don't let me in this we did want uh, to thank some new members that joined uh, the ftbt builders club this week mm -hmm. we had eric overson john brovsky and david hopper so thank you so much guys for joining uh basically that's uh, where they can get more connection with the Fix This Build That squad, and it's the, kind of our inner circle. They can get free plans, video credits, uh, more content out there. So if you're interested in doing that, you can head over to fixthisbuildthat.com forward slash builders club and check that out if you want to join in and support the channel. We would <laughs> love to have you. Someone wants us to kiss. Oh, Valentine's. <laughs> oh, demonetized. <laughs> that looked like a very, you were like, <laughs> That's how I kiss her all the time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Not at all strange. Yes. No, no, no. It's, all, it's, it's all good. That's how we kiss all the time. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Our kids would be going, <laughs> T-Hub, what is up? T-Hub. T, why did he? He, he, he likes he to go back and forth. He just likes to keep us on our He's toes. probably over here, too. He yeah, probably is. He, he likes to go back and forth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he can't decide. <laughs> Let's see here. The Kelder Ken. What's up? Uh, Soul Solutions. Love the, the uh, hidden drawer feature. Thank you. Max awesome. ZC. Um, can't join on YouTube. Can't stay Taylor's that long. Taylor's over it's here okay. now. It's okay. He says, sup. Uh, Sounds better. <laughs> looks better over here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sounds better. Looks better. It does. So everybody who's over on, on uh, Instagram, come join us on YouTube. Fix yeah. this. Build that live. Uh, so this coming week, what we're going to be doing is oh finishing up the, um, obviously finishing up the charging station. So that's going to be the, the project that's going to be coming out uh, this Sunday and uh, working through the, the final steps of that and kind of doing a, a few different things. And then uh, what else do we have? Mm. What do we, what do we... I don't even know. Kids home all week, most oh, likely. Oh, gosh, yeah. So <laughs> this coming week is going to be crazy. kind of unavoidable. I went to, uh, I needed a 10-inch drawer slide for this project for a little secret in it. Um, it's not really a secret, but it's just a cool little feature. It's a little bonus feature. Went to Woodcraft. I was like, I better head to Woodcraft before uh, it snows. Right. Go to Woodcraft and ices because we're going to get like all ice tomorrow. So we're in Nashville. We're going to get a ton of ice uh, and, and then, then we're going to get snow. snow. Right. And so I was like, I better go get what I need. Right. So uh, we already got our food. All the necessities. That's right. Food, <laughs> milk, bread, eggs, and drawer slides. Right, right. Um, that's a good, I, I like that. That's the, that's the title. There milk, bread, eggs, and drawer slides. That's it. Um, so we went to go do that and i went to go do that and i pull up and they're like yeah we're closed they like, didn't say that they inclement weren't weather. there oh no well yeah what? well no i'm yeah. saying well, yeah. it's not like a person saying they're going, no 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 we're they're closed. Like, like, they turned me away right no so brad was kind of bummed about that um yeah i had to go out last like our kids are so pumped about the idea of having 
a substantial amount of snow for us. And we realized we only have one pair of snow boots for three <laughs> children. So yes. I went out and found some snow boots. But then, yeah, we're, our, our vets are staying home. And the kids will most likely be home. Yeah, so we, we, we expect week. them. Like, so we're, we're it'll in, be interesting. We're in Tennessee, man. Like, you, you get any yeah. snow and they're canceling school. So we're supposed to get three to four inches here. Oh, I, that's what. So in the comments, whether you're on uh, Instagram or on Facebook or if you're on Facebook, this is weird because we're not on Facebook. So. How are you here? <laughs> how are you here? Uh, if you're on Instagram or YouTube, let us know uh, what city you're in and how many inches of snow oh. you're supposed to be getting in or got because because West Coast, I guess, was already getting some oh, really? uh, wow. in the next you know couple days. Let it let us know. I'd love to see all the different uh, snow oh accumulation gosh. totals for folks around the different parts of the nation and you know the world. If you're in Brazil and you're expecting snow. I don't know where Wood Butcher would is from, but he says the snow is piled higher than his mailbox. Oh, that's uh, that, that will that's not a be lot. happening here. But our play, like, I mean, so in Tennessee, the school districts are a county wide thing. And so it's like, you know, one back road, one hilly back road is impassable for a bus and the whole county is out for school. And so I don't think they're going to go all week. No, I, I mean, think I don't think out they the will. Week. It's um, we're sure. not we're not made for this. This is <laughs> no. not this is no. not what we normally do in we February. Are not. We are not. Usually All right. people are wearing shorts. Let's see what else we Great have people. over here uh, on on the YouTube's. Uh, we got uh, Ken and Daniel Epson. What's up in Canada? Uh, goodness, you're like probably like whatever, dude. Uh, Larry, you nurses. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much, oh, Larry. Oh, hey, Larry. Isaac, what's up, Isaac? We got Dylan. Uh, I have never built a shed, Dylan. I have never built a shed, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, no. there's always there. Pittsburgh, six inches and Plus ice. ice. Yeah. Kansas City, three inches on the ground already. Average craftsman, Whoa. three to four, three to six. Max. Okay, so y'all you get about the same as us, so whatever. But you know what? We don't really good. know until it's actually what done. What goes good with snow and ice is, oh, yeah. uh, is beer. Beer. And so uh, we're going to go for the beer of the week. Boom. We are. Beer of the week. Uh -uh. Beer, beer of, of the week. week. Whoop, whoop. Beer. That's right. Um, uh, that's Ooh, look remix. at this guy. Look All at right. this face. So <laughs> we got the beer like... of the week. Uh, this is our last week of having the Space from dust. Elysian uh, from uh, Elysian with uh, from what is it? Uh, where where's it from? I Seattle, have high hopes Seattle for this Washington. One. And uh, compliments of Dad It Yourself DIY, Mr. Scott Orham. So thank you so much, Scott. We're going to jump into this. I mean, the Elysian Space Dust IPA. They have IPA. really cool designs on their cans. I feel I like I should be say. smoking doobies while I'm like, Space <laughs> know, Dust. Well, look at the thing. I mean, I know. It looks, yeah. All right. Let's yeah, check it out. Let's check it out. That. Ooh. Mm. Yum. It's very hoppy. Very hoppy. It. Ooh, it, ooh, I can wow. taste the space dust. The hops kind of get you at the end. They do. You think like, oh, it's hoppy. No, no it's really it's, hoppy. Uh, it's really hoppy. All right, let's, yeah, see, let's, like let's get some more snow totals over here on Instagram. Snow totals. Uh, let's see your Coral Springs in Florida, none. <laughs> Is uh, it cold though? South Central Oklahoma, eight inches eight in inches. already, four inches more. Oh my god. Just ice in Texas. Oh, um, ice is worse though. Carmel City, Tennessee, three to seven inches. Bloomington in Illinois, only one to two inches. Interesting. It's um, so cold though. It yeah. doesn't snow in the desert. SoCal, no snow. Little Rock, 12 inches in Little Rock? No way. That's insane. That is that's Well, crazy. and I think it also depends no, on. No snow in Kenya. Oh. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Um, Kenya's like, they're like, this is not exciting for us. I mean, this is just craziness though over around here. Yeah. Um, and it really depends on which <laughs> forecast you even listen to because every, like, you know, there's different meteorologists saying, I mean, I heard, I heard like six to eight inches here, but I don't think, they don't really know. Like until it's all said and done, they don't really know how much anyone's gonna get, I'm Sorry. sure. Had to, had to block <clears throat> somebody on Instagram. Being oh, a, blast being them. A, a, Did you get him with the space nut. dust? Anyway, space dust, yeah, yeah. We yeah. hit you with the space dust. <laughs> You're out of uh, here. <laughs> all right, cool, so. Anyway, yeah. yeah, so we're all gonna be, or most, a lot of us are gonna be, gonna be at home. This is a great hours. time to be building, right? In Arizona, in Sedona, 10 inches of snow, that's crazy. Ten. So I don't know, like, right. so, do they normally get snow? Yeah, Kevin Gallimore, what's up, brother? Um, so, uh, by the way, Instagram folks, come join us on uh, YouTube. We can see your comments a lot easier and we can kind of scroll through them. Yep. Uh, for our YouTube folks, uh, if you have a question, go ahead and do the et, fix this, build that mm -hmm. live, and that will come up uh, we'll in it yellow. So it'll, out. yeah, it'll, if you're doing a question, uh, that's kind of the, the fun part about about the YouTube is that there's a lot of conversation back and forth there because it's so much easier to read the chat uh, in, in YouTube. So yes. anyway, uh, yeah. So 
I don't know. What, so, yeah. what, what do so we have going on? So we've been doing what? projects. I feel and, like you're not even oh. manning the questions. You're just, you're just having well, fun. Well, this is weird. It keeps having us on high speed. I don't know what's happening over here. Oh, oh, yeah. it's buffering and stuff. It's All right. doing strange things. Well, why don't we just close it? Because okay. are yeah. we buffering? Are we I'm having issues of, on YouTube? I mean, no one has said anything that I've seen. Okay. But I don't know. It, let us know if we're buffering, if we're having we're issues. Buffering. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Sounds> buffering. Buffering. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm going to jump so into some questions here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we've got um, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, water temps are in the 50s. Ooh, Ooh. that doesn't sound good. Sounds chilly. Uh, three to four inches in South Dakota. What? I mean, that should be like I nothing. I feel like South Dakota would be like 30 to 40 inches. That's like South 30 Dakota. 30 to 40 inches. That <laughs> sounds like a lot of inches. Jacob Elder <laughs> Woodworks uh, taking his hobby and starting a cabinet shop. That's all fantastic, right. man. Uh, how do I find it on YouTube? Soul Solutions, just uh, search Fix This Build That Live, and it'll come, yep. it'll come right up. Uh, there are easier alternatives to a breadboard ends to keep a tabletop flat, says Z's Woodworking. Um, yeah, there, there are. So when you say easier alternatives to a breadboard end, uh, so a lot of times breadboard ends are used <clears throat> for decorative purposes, <clears throat> but they are used also to keep the boards uh, flat at the ends. One of the more popular techniques that, that has uh, been used in the past few years that I've seen it just come up a lot more on Instagram than it had in the past three to four years um, is using <clears throat> C-Channel. So you can put, you can inlay C channel, and, and if you don't know what C channel is, it's uh, it's more like a U shaped. But you know, if you turn on its edge, it's a C. I guess same thing. But it's got a longer, it's got a longer valley than it does the ridges. That's why I think the the C uh, channel goes. Anyway, I'm okay. mumbling about C I, channel. I got it. I've got a visual but, in my mind now. Uh, and what you do is you route like you route across all the boards. Yeah, <clears throat> you can route across the boards the little notches in there, and then you can put that in and, and do a recess and drill it in flat, and that will basically hold it all together. And you do the same thing as a breadboard. So you would uh, you know have expansion slots so that it can move, so the boards can move, but it's going to hold them all uh, intact. So uh, you know, hit YouTube and just. Just type in C channel um, tabletop, saying, and I'm sure you'll be videos coming up for it. Was the question like, what's better an than altern a no, breadboard? No, he said an alternative. Oh, gotcha. So that's a definitely an alternative for uh, for a breadboard. Uh, <clears throat> if you could check that out. All right, what else do we have over here on? Uh, oh wait, Greenwood, Arkansas, seven inches. Man, it's it's, it's going inches. down there in the south, man. It is getting. I know the south. We are. Katie, we what's up? We got Jonathan Arisi's up there. We are there. not used to this. Uh, no, we are not. But my they're, family they're getting... in Ohio, they got like oh, nine inches we go. last week. They're in Cincinnati, yeah. Yeah, I was super jealous, and then now we're getting snow. So Katie says, uh, "Susan, the red looks phenomenal on Thank you." Thank you, Katie. Appreciate and the that. Joker over on Instagram that got booted was making passes at you, basically. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. I'm just kidding. No, inappropriate. 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 All right, sir. Michael Anthony over on YouTube says, "What is uh, the least favorite part about woodworking?" Uh, oh, I mean, you guys part. should know that. That's a good question, though. It's going to be the dust. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the dust. If I, if I have to be honest, it might be the dust I because mean, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bit neurotic about dust. I like how you ease into that. I'm a bit, a bit neurotic. Do those go together? I think. Can you about, be a bit neurotic? Or, I mean, yeah, you know, I, think I, guess, you, I think neurotic, I don't know how you would say that. I, just, so I think that would be, that's probably a spectrum. I've conscientiously avoided the term OCD because... <laughs> I don't think you're really. Well, I'm, because I'm not. I right. mean, I'm not like, I've never been diagnosed as OCD, and I probably am not. No. For the most part. Um, no, you can I, live it, your it's, life. It's a spectrum. Right. Right. And that, that, you know, so I had a person who had, who was diagnosed with OCD, and they kind of took offense to it. And I was like, you know, I don't, I don't want to be yeah. hating on that, so I'm not trying to make light of the situation. Right. Uh, I totally get and that. And so, and it's not, right? It's, it's kind of a blanket term, but I think whatever. neurotic is so a little neurotic. bit better of a way to go. <laughs> neurotic, yeah. I could call myself neurotic all day long. And like, if you're neurotic too, hey, what's up? Whatever. That, that, that's, a, that's a spectrum. Uh, so yeah, dust is, is like, I just, I don't like, um, I don't like, this is the weird part. I don't do like, like the feel the dust? of dust oh. under my feet. I don't like the crunchiness. You don't like the smell of dust in the morning? Oh no, I love the smell of dust in the morning. I just don't <laughs> like it under my feet. It's like, and, and it's slick too on the concrete floor, especially fine dust. It is a hazard. Mm -hmm. And uh, then could you I go put inside it down and you on track the ice. it. Would that help? Well, with like the there's ice? a difference between dust and chips. I don't mind chips. I don't mind wood shavings. Okay. I'm good with wood shavings. We're going deep tonight, folks. Yeah. But dust. Well, also, yes. I will say. It's bad for your lungs. Brad, I've, got, I've got, I used to have asthma growing up. So. Yeah, you still have asthma, but well. it's not as bad, I guess, right? But yeah, even as long as I've known Brad, um, and I think we've talked about this before, like, 
wherever we've lived, there's always seems to be like, you know, in the late afternoon sun comes in through your window and you can see all oh, the dust yeah. motes. It creeps him out. Like, it does creep me out. It's like stuff floating so in the air. It's like little, just never like that. Like little we aliens. We need to get that um, thing I found online. There's yes. like an air filter thingamajiggy thing that you put in a room and then it supposedly sucks a lot of that out of the air. We could have like 10 of them in the shop, honey, and it would still <laughs> yes. it would still be a problem. Another one? Yeah, there you go. Was it about something else? Uh, it's just somebody being an idiot. Okay, uh, well, they're gone. <clears throat> yeah, people, people are being idiots over there on Instagram. I mean, on why Instagram. on Valentine's Day? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe Rob they, Tilson, maybe what's just, up? Maybe Danny they're angry Malk. about things. I know, it's all the single people. I mean, <laughs> Evan's workshop sorry. says sanding is his, uh, and that, oh, you know, yeah. which generates what? Dust. Dust. So Thank yeah, that would, yeah. Be, that would be an obvious one for me. Yeah. Uh, so good question here. Go. JD Creations. Uh, let's see here. It's 90 degrees in Florida. My gosh. Degrees. Where Where are you at, they must JD? Be down you must south. be like in Miami or something. 90 degrees. Oh, JP in says totally February. buffering. What is buffering? Oh no, it says no. You're good. I just switched. Looks good. No buffering. All right. So we've we've got mixed good. reviews of buffering, but I hope it's not. I hope it's not. Yeah. All right. Cool. So <laughs> what else do we have here? Just switched over. Looks good. Awesome. Awesome. No buffering on YouTube. Great. Fantastic. By the way, Instagram folks, come join us on YouTube. Fix this build we that live. We've seen a sign we can channel. hold up. Come I know. Join us on YouTube. Come join us on YouTube. Uh, Lipinski, do I have the new pocket hole jig, and what do I think of it? Uh, I assume you're referring to the. Um, the, the Craig 720. Uh, I have not used it. I have one actually on its way to me right now, and Please. I have not had a chance to use it yet. Um, I've seen it, and uh, I, I really like the adjustability on it. It looks really cool. Uh, it's very reminiscent of the, uh, the Porter Cable one that probably a lot of you don't even know about, but there was a Porter Cable one that had the adjustability, <laughs> so you didn't have to like set the depth and all that stuff. It just did it all right there. Um, and I believe it has those features on it. So I've not used it yet, but uh, it is it is inbound and I'll have my hands on it here in, uh, you know, a week or so. So I'll let you guys know, know more then. Um, Did you get rid of this person? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, T Hub says he's with his boys and they're wondering what father-son project ideas they have for us. Oh, Taylor. Make Taylor brownies. and sons. I love it. Uh, obviously <laughs> something out of Walnut, Taylor, clearly. <laughs> Uh, father and son, uh, from what I recall, your boys are fairly young. Um, you know, the, it, it, one of the things that the boys have enjoyed um, is, and we didn't make it together, but it would be a great project for you to make with your boys, uh, is like a ladder golf. Ladder golf or cornhole, right? So just like or some type of game. That's a fun yeah. thing for the kids. Uh, but the it. ladder golf, <laughs> ladder golf is super fun to play. We play it in the backyard all the time during the summer and, and, not right and spring. Now. No, not right now. Yeah. But uh, right. that's that's super fun, the ladder golf. It's awesome. Yeah, they really enjoy that. Yeah, they've, they've enjoyed it. Did you make it with Maliki? Yeah, Maliki yeah. actually made that one. So, you know, yeah. thanks Maliki. We, we've been using it. <laughs> he, had, he, he came We're and just, he just like left, <laughs> yeah. uh, left it here. But yeah, I would say some type, some type of game, like maybe a yeah. washer's game, something like that, something where it's outside. Right. Um, you know, if you're right now, <clears> that doesn't help you in the winter, right? So uh, what would be a good like indoor game? Uh, oh you know, Nerf targets are, would actually be super fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, and Things they could knock over. Yeah, yeah, like a knocker or something where you could put it on hinges and knock them over and then push them back up. That'd be kind of fun if they're into Nerf. But that's, uh, and also my son and I made, um, my middle guy, we made a, a paddle boat. It's super cool. Uh, it's just like basically two pieces, of, uh, you know, like a, like a one by four, and then you put some like painter sticks on the end and then glue together a X looking piece, put some rubber bands around that, and then you can wind it up in between the two paint sticks that are coming off there. And it's basically a boat. So mm -hmm. that's like a super simplified version, but uh, it's fun. <clears throat> all right, uh, let's see here. William Marchant, where where do you get all your hardwood from? Local big box or limited to small, or limited to small quantity? Uh, yeah, I get most of my hardwood local at a local lumber dealer or off of Craigslist. So uh, it, I don't buy any of it from the big box stores and I buy very little of it from even the specialty stores like Woodcraft. I do buy some there, um, but it's always S4S. Uh, so surfaced on all sides and dimensional lumber. And it's just like, it's so expensive that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we've got two more people. What's that? I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know either. What's going on What's over going there? What's going on with that? I don't know. Um, Get the purple hearts gone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, cool. So what else do we have going on, guys? Uh, what other questions do we have? Let's, let's get one from, uh, 
from over here. Um, Rob, will you show any more avalanche work? Dude, I, I hope so, man. We were, we were talking about that. Um, we were talking about doing some more avalanche work just the, um, just the other day, actually. And on the last, on the last live, we were talking about it where we want to, to try to do that. It's just so hard to, it's hard to work everything in and like the right. different projects. So yes, you will definitely see some more. Uh, I want to actually, one of the things I wanted to do was like, um, to do some like electronics work in there and also possibly redoing the back. Uh, like, you know, we wouldn't like, if you have a, a truck or a car and you have the plastic, uh, trim and then it gets <laughs> white, like the avalanches are like notorious it for that. What? It's like white and like white. it's chalky and yeah. Yeah, so like um, repairing that. Uh, but if you're into auto stuff, you go check out the channel Chris Fix. He's awesome. He's awesome. Uh, he's, he's a, hey guys, Chris Fix. <laughs> he's, he's fantastic. Splintered Concept, what's up, my man? How you doing? Uh, Is it from the shop? It says sanding socks. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Uh, everybody hates sanding. Uh, congrats on the YouTube goal. Matthew Granham, thank you, my man. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, cool. Let's check. Let's go back over here onto the YouTubes. What kind of questions do we got? Somebody else said something. Tubes. I missed it. Um, any good deals on clamps recently? Isaac, trust. Um, no, I've not seen any good deals on clamps recently, honestly. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of the, um, the Jet parallel clamps, and I bought them when they used to do the 50% off deal. They no longer do that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and so, you know, you, you can't get that deal. But, uh, but I know... I know there are some deals to be had, but um, I don't know of any out there right now. But, you know, what, Father's Day is probably the next big holiday mm -hmm. that you'd be getting. I mean, so you still got a ways to go on that. All right. Who else we got here? Uh, and, uh, can't stay long. 345 comes fast. Burke Bowling. What's up, Burke? That's all right. That's all right. Okay. What do you have over there? Anything? No. Okay. <laughs> I think you got like the most recent ones. Yes. How to price build for clients. Ooh, uh, Altaf Tajmul. Um, head over to Made for Profit one. and listen to the uh, pricing guide episodes. We did those, I think they were episodes 11, 12, and 13. Uh, it was my, my podcast with John Malecki and we talked all about pricing your work. We even have a little spreadsheet if you're interested in that, but you can go check it out uh, at madeforprofit.com forward slash um, episode 11, I believe, or just go to the podcast and, and check out episode 11. I oh, get that. yeah. What? I, what I don't is, know. We're just getting like spammed by lots of people. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I don't know why, like Instagram is being super weird. You know what? So all of you Instagram folks, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to move this over. Uh, Instagram folks, we are going to sign off. And uh, if you'd like to come join us, we'd love to have you over on YouTube. We're over there right now. It's Fix This Build That Live. And we'd love to have you join. And uh, we're going to continue the conversation for quite a while. Andrew Blanks, I'd love for you to come over and ask that question over there. I would love to go in depth about that. All right, guys. Until next week, get out there, build something awesome. That all right. was. That was weird. That was. It's like all the trolls were yeah. lonely yeah, on Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's like on Instagram. Day. There was like. <laughs> and they were coming out to play. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I just moved the whole. Just... It's not locked. Oh. Is it locked? All right, I'm just gonna let that one go. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, it's locked. It's oh. just the floor is not super even. I'm so. just very powerful. Anywho, yes, we're back. Anywho's. All right, what what do we have? Enough enough shenane on uh, Instagram. Solution Fitness is a great solution. Jonathan, I actually think I have. I think that's what I have. I've got a bottle of it that I haven't used yet, uh, but I, I think that that is what I'm gonna try out. Um, Sand and plate, paint the plastic. <clears throat> also, there was one. It was it was called like <coughs> Gator Gatorback or something like that. There was like a spray-on finish that, that you could use. Uh, I had that done once <laughs> and under warranty. I'll tell you how long ago that was. It's been a minute. Yes. Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, oh, go Vols, Michael Stockdale. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jeff Baker, the beer recommendation for tonight was um, Space Dust IPA by Elysian Brewing. It is quite hoppy. It's good though. Mm. If you like hop. If you like the hops. Yep. Okay, who else we have here? Um, the <clears throat> old. Oh my gosh. Yeah, people are talking about working in a cold shop. It, oh gosh. One of the one of the best things 
uh, about working in the shop now has been the split unit. So I've had a split unit in the shop for about three years now, and it's been, it was like one of the best decisions. I mean, if, if you would work for a business, if it is your business, it's gonna be the best investment that mm -hmm. you can make in your business because it's just gonna make everything better uh, <laughs> as far as like the the feel and the, uh, what am I trying to say? The Just the comfort. Yeah, like the. I mean, like before, before you got the split unit, I remember there would be points in the summer that were so hot. Oh, I just stopped. It was just, it was not, possible and then there would be points in the winter like it would be right now it's just too cold especially when you're recording videos if you're going out there and working and not recording and you could just right. gut through it right and be sweating you'd be buckets, like in a video like, where i'm just like sweating like a pig and be like hey guys and i'm just right. like sweat we, pouring down my and face you thought about it for a, a while and we should have we should have done it sooner but we should have we we're, we're about a year we late it. to the party but you know we did it and, Better it, and it's never. worked yeah totally it's worked out it very really well uh heart of a handyman maker brand clamps i don't own any but i have used them um out in joshua tree uh, ben and and mike and chris are all good friends of mine who are um the owners or founders of, of maker brand along with a, another guy and the, what I'll say about Maker Brand clamps is they're extremely robust. They're very simple, so there's not a lot of parts to break like you would have in a parallel clamp. They're also very heavy. So they're heavy duty and they're heavy. And so they're, you know, there's pros and cons of that. One, they're like super stout. So you can like crank like crazy on those things and get a lot of force and they're, they're not gonna flex or bend on you. Um, but if you, you know, they're heavy. So if you need to be moving them around or whatever, um, you know, I mean, they, they, having a heavy clamp and they're not like excessively heavy they're just they're not light i mean they're just they're beefy i guess is a great description of them so yeah they're i would recommend them as far as uh if you want something that's gonna, like going to be really durable um and you know gets a lot of clamping force and that is not going to break because it's not going to flex and also they just don't use a lot of parts in them it's a great option uh let's see here what do we got over here um bum, bum, bum. WKD Destiny just built one of the cabinets as a coffee bar and have a terrible time with drawer slides. Any tips? Ah. Mm. You know, why don't you expand on that actually, WKD Destiny? Let, let us know. What, for, first of all, you're going to get some great responses from the folks in the comments because uh, we've got a lot of great woodworkers in here who can, who can give you some uh, feedback. But uh, let me know specifically what issue you're having with them because there's a lot of it that using drawer slides, I've installed so many now. I've kind of made all the mistakes. Um, <laughs> mistakes were made, but uh, it's it's one of those things where you can make a lot of different mistakes. So if you let me know what exactly you're having issues with, we can dive into it a little bit deeper. Uh, the Diablo Sand Nets, Katie Darnell. I have used the Diablo Sand Net. Um, I like it. It does has really uh, good dust collection. The thing I don't like about it is the um, it's not really durable in the sense of the edges are not bound. So it's like an open weave. So like if you had, you know, think about a mesh and then just cutting around that mesh with scissors and then just not doing anything else. So it's like an open mesh, hmm. like leaning. It's like an open mesh on the ends. And so if, you, if you're sanding a flat surface, it's fine. But if you're sanding into contours and stuff, it starts ripping up really fast. Hmm. And um, the life of the actual disc hmm. and abrasive will last a long time. But a lot of times the actual um, structure of it, you know, gets torn up before that. So... Yes, you're just bored. You don't have. You can't read in the comments. I know. I need the here. Do your fingerprint or whatever. I I think it's well. Yeah. Now that we're not streaming on that one, it should yeah. be it should be okay. I need back in fingerprint. Ooh, look at that fancy. I know. I just go. Okay. I just do fingerprint login. I'm back in now, people. Okay. Sometimes I never mind. All right. All right. She's back. She's back. I'm back. Ask Susan all your questions. No, don't do that. Um, I won't how know How about any a smaller home bar, Javier? Uh, we are we are actually mm -hmm. considering doing a little. Uh, we're going to do it at some point. Doing a little We've drinks, decided. yeah, a little drinks fridge area that's going to be kind of just just off our kitchen. There's right. a little doorway that goes to the dining room, and in between there's our it's pantry. Like a butler's pantry. And situation. then to the right is um, like a closet, a small closet. And we're going to knock the door off, you know, knock the wall out, take the door down, and uh, make it just like a little like a little yeah. old school butler's pantry. Have a little mini <laughs> fridge in there, and then you know just space to store extra yeah. whatnots. His, his Actually, that'd be a great place for the, for the liquor to go to. Yeah. 
We always hide the. We're not huge we liquor drinkers, ha- but yeah. we have. But like liquor is one of those things that like it doesn't go bad, so you no. just kind of accrue no, it. it. That's true. Yeah. So it would be a good place for that. Stop pushing on this, please. Sorry. All right. Uh, what else we got? Turn turn off the mini split a couple of days ago. It couldn't keep up. Oh no. Oh That's wow. No good. Yeah, they they don't keep up really low in really low temperatures, but you know, they're they're nice to have for most mm. climates. Mm-hmm. Rob Till said, "What's up?" Came over from IG. Need more welding. The steel and wood furniture. Yeah, dude. I, I tell you what. I was just talking about this today, actually, with John Malecki. Um, I have not welded in a while because uh, I'm, I'm a little gun shy, honestly. Well, two things. One, I've added more things, and ever since I added the CNC, which is which is kind of where I did the welding, it's it's kind of pushed out, and so right. the spot that I have to weld in is very small. And I've also been welding on a table instead of on the ground, which is good. Um, mm-hmm. But now when I weld on the table, the sparks are generating from a much higher position. So now they're yeah. like, you know, waist high and shooting up. Whereas when I'm on the floor, you know, there's kind of like, they won't hit anything. And so uh, I may or may not have had a little uh, he did. issue. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> never, where, it never happened. Yes. Where... Uh, where sparks may have flown onto uh, some canvas painters but, I mean, canvas you knew and was smoldering it did and happen. oh yeah. yeah no it was all it was all on the up and up you know allegedly but uh yeah so i've, I've been like yeah it's just it's just one of those things that i would really love to have dedicated space for um and so i'm i'm just kind of gun shy on it quite frankly uh and not even that not even as much as i'm gun shy it's just it, it um doesn't go over that well. It's it's great as an accent. So I will do it for like bases and stuff, but just people don't like welding on the channel. Whenever I've got welding, it never does that great. I don't know why. Uh, but if it's just a little bit, a little little taste, then that's good. Mini split leaking. Mm-hmm. Did I get the Wi with the mini leaking? Did I get the Wi-Fi adapter, Jason? Hmm? Wi-Fi. I'm not adapter. sure what all that means. What? Um, no, I don't know. I don't have the Wi-Fi adapter for it. So like you can use your phone to control it. I don't have the Wi-Fi adapter. Fancy. It's a Mitsubishi. We do have a remote control. It does not leak. Mm-hmm. Um, like the um, discharge tube, we haven't ever had any issues. It's the, the condensate yeah. tube. We've never had any issues with it. Um, I've never seen any water uh, coming no. out on the wall or anything. And like it just goes. We're ourselves right now. Yeah. It just goes right out, down, and then and then out in the on the exterior wall. So it mm-hmm. doesn't have a long way to go. I like this. Susan, what are the plans for putting up with the kids all week? Do you have any <laughs> beer to get you through? We have a lot of beer. We do have a lot of beer. I just started drinking, like, last night and tonight. I decided I would break my beer abstinence because it's a holiday. She drinks but on then, holidays and tomorrow's President's Day. So. Well, no, but, like, not any holiday. She's, no, she's going to be like, oh. I'll just get wasted on Wednesday President's is Day. Uh, <laughs> National Donut Day. <laughs> no. Thursday is uh, National Take Your... Mm. Spouse to work day. Hey, we're out of here. Yeah. You know, no, I um, I will probably just go back to water. Honestly, I I don't I don't drink a lot, especially when I'm trying to be healthy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will just tonight and last night, oh, here, and that, that's gonna be it can... for me. But the our kids we're we're very lucky that just with COVID and everything, like we don't have young young children. I mean, so young young children. I mean, our youngest is 9. So we have a 9-year-old, a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old. And honestly, I mean, they'll probably be on screens way too much during the day. Yes. Um but but that's okay. No, they're going to be outside we've, playing we've in the also, snow, so too. We're a big uh, we're a big card game. Yes. We're a big board game card game family. We like we like to game. I just beat and my so 10-year-old at a game tonight. She Then uh, he, he broke it win. to me that he let me <laughs> win. <laughs> and but, I believe him. I was so But we so love discouraged. we love playing games. Yeah. Uh some of our favorites well, what are why don't you hit us hit them with our favorite so, our so favorite favorites? board games. So I know it's probably too late now, but if you want to buy some games so that uh right. you can get through some long winter days. Right, we really, really, what are some ones that we really enjoy? We just got into Five Crowns. Five um, Crowns. That's really Very fun. fun. Lowdown, Lowdown low down is, is, a, is a great one. We like one. King's Gold. King's Gold is a fun, fast one. Our Yam Slam Yam is Slam one of my awesome. favorites. Of course, Sorry. Sorry yeah. is like a, a classic. Although we have one child that's not a big fan. There's always that's one. True. There's always one. But then, um, what was I just thinking? Wits and Wagers is really Wits and fun. Wits Wagers is fantastic. And then our so, daughter really likes Sleeping Queens. Like if you a have very, a younger uh, yeah. set that's kind of into games, but 
not really wanting complicated rules, but just lots of fun. Sleeping Queens is really, really great. Yeah. And it is fun for everybody. So go check some of so, those yeah. out if you're so interested. We play a lot of games. There's, um, we really enjoy playing games with the, with the fam. Yeah, do I we use do. preconditioner on plywood? Uh, ripcord, I do not. Uh, my main reason I don't use it is because I don't, I don't ever stain. So if you're not staining, you don't really need to use a, a preconditioner. Uh, I'm either, I'm either just clear coating it or painting it, and neither. So I, I rarely, rarely ever use stain on plywood. Yeah, I, I rarely use stain in general. Uh, and when I do, it's going to typically be on something like probably an oak, maybe a poplar, maybe. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. Did you see Riley's comment? He said, did, did someone get the editing job? I would apply, but I'm 11 and I live in Alaska. Yeah. yeah. That's great. I didn't realize Riley's 11. 11. He's that's impressive, Riley. I, yeah, that's why he's. That'd be like our son applying for the job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kevin got his blue mistakes for made shirt. Loves it. Super oh, soft. Yay. Awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, well, here we go. WKD, that's it. He's got a follow up, I believe. Definitely looking at that one. Oh, just been doing. Munchkin. Uh, I guess I missed it. Oh my them. gosh. Oh, there it was. Getting them measured for the right placement and they always seem out of level. Got it. Uh, uh, yeah, so if you're trying to install drawer slides in uh, the right placement, so in my plans, I give exact measurements. So if you're using my plans, then you'd have like exact measurements to use and reference off of um, and getting them level. So what I, and this is, uh, they're right here actually. So one of my favorite tips and, and tricks for doing that is using spacers. So I cut these spacers here and they are 11 inch spacers. This was to install something else, but um, I install them and then you, and I wouldn't use this for drawer slides. This was for just like a shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I have like a three quarter inch or something like that, that'll hold it up. You could use quarter inch, but it's, you know, the drawer slides are a half inch thick, so it'll fall off. So you have to use something mm -hmm. else to keep it up there. But anyway, um, use these, use something like that, that can support the drawer slide while you're installing it. So you put this on the bottom. So whenever I'm doing multiple drawer slides that go up the side, I will always use spacers. And uh, then you stack the next spacer on top of that one, on top of the drawer slide and, and do it that way. So that's how I do it. And you know, there are definitely other ways and there's probably better ways, but that's how I do it. And it, and it works well now that I've been doing it for a while. We've gotten recommendations for games. Yeah. Munchkin? Munchkin. I've never heard of Munchkin, but two different people said Munchkin's great, so I'm looking on Amazon for it right now. We're just going, y'all are, are going to cost us money. We're going to start we buying are. stuff. And then, um, what was the other one? Any good resources uh, throw for throw shopping burrito. Layouts. Katie, we have Throw Throw Burrito. Throw Throw Burrito. I was just we talking to my son. We do love Throw the Throw, very throw Burrito. The very first, go ahead. But. It's a little crazy. It's definitely not a before bedtime game for no. us because people get sweaty, people get possibly injured. Fired up. Oh yes, so so we're very, very competitive family. The very first throw throw burrito, um, hmm. it wasn't the first throw, but it was like the first time I had thrown. And so my oldest, <laughs> my oldest son, oh. <laughs> he drew like the, the draw, we did the draw. The draw. And so like, uh, if you're not familiar with it, you each have this like uh, squishy, shaped thing that's like a burrito, mm -hmm. looks like a burrito. It's like a ball, except it's shaped it's like a burrito. burrito. Uh, and it's then you, you count to three walking away. So it's like a duel, you count to three walking away and like then you turn and like chuck the burrito at each other and whichever one hits is the winner. Whoever You're gets hit first. You're still thinking about this, aren't you? Oh, it was like <laughs> one of my crowning achievements of my son. <laughs> and so we do it and he comes mm -hmm. over and I just turn and I just hammer it like as hard as I possibly can. Right, because we Because it's, it's super soft. It is very soft. It's super it's soft. very, very soft. And, and he's I, 12. And I knew, so I anticipated mm -hmm. that he would be moving and yeah. ducking, and so I threw it low, and it hit him right in the face. Oh, I, I mean, thought you were talking about a different one. Yes, that was bad. That was bad. That was Luckily, that was, that was soft. I mean, he, was so he was okay. okay. He was, but then there was, was another fine. one that, that I, I wish we had, I had this on film. I think it was also with him, right? Or, I said on film, so old. I wish we had recorded this digitally on our phone. Um, <laughs> on our camcorder. <laughs> that it was the same thing as a standoff. And so I go and they're like, we look at each other and he throws it and I jump up in the air and like do the splits and it goes like under and not that, you know, I'm not like, but. And you threw it in mid, so Brad it comes had up his. And it's like, goes he under my legs like and I'm like. He jumped like spread eagle <laughs> and threw his and hits our son while the other one's going underneath his. And thankfully awesome. we all saw it. Otherwise, did like it really ninja. happen? You know. And he was like. <laughs> That was, that was a tie. He was pretty he was impressed. Like, he was like, uh, he, he couldn't understand what happened. <laughs> he was like, how did I that mean, not hit you? And I was like, yeah. I jumped. I, yes. I evaded. 
Yeah. Brad is, um, you're really pretty good at most games. Yeah. yeah. I try. Yeah. Well, we know. Because you win. I try. Games. I try. Uh, let's see here. Big Willie's Garage. I did join on Mark's uh, live. I was over there. He was, I was actually texting with him right before he went on there. And I was doing some computer work and I saw that he was live. And so I, I just jumped on. Oh. Uh, Jonathan, how's the Galaxy Book as a shop tool utility device? Considering that of the Tab S7. Uh, quite frankly, Jonathan, we don't use it a lot um, because I don't need the computer a ton. I have used it a few times. We're starting to use it for programming. So actually like up on the back screen of what Susan's looking at is uh, Arduino, uh, the Arduino launcher or whatever you call it. Uh, so that's, I, I feel like this will be my kind of CNC and 3D printing uh, that I, I do it there. But um, I have a dedicated machine for the, for the CNC that's a desktop. And I have uh, an Octopi on the 3D printer that's hooked up Wi-Fi so I can do it that way. So I don't need it out in the shop, uh, but I have used it to sketch some things, which is, which is cool. I really like that it's got the S Pen. That's my favorite thing is that you can, you can write on it. <coughs> and it's, Sorry. Bless you. it's also super light, very, very light compared to this one, which is like an HP Spectre. Um, and it's got the fingerprint thing to unlock it, which is super fun. I mean, not a big deal, but. Uh, so I will probably travel with this one. It'll be a great travel PC for me, mm -hmm. but I don't use it in the shop a lot. But in general, it, it's, it's been great so nice. far. We haven't, yeah. we haven't used it a ton, but it's been nice so far. No complaints. Nope. And all goodness. Somebody knocking on the door? No, that was my foot. I'm just going to let that go. keep you on your toes. I didn't push the table, though. I just Margaritaville Margarita Maker. Man, they're, they're I know, they're talking about Margarita Makers. Here. We missed something. I know. Uh, <laughs> Did Soul Solutions. Sin some products if we like to eat we do like to eat we soul solutions eat. uh dm me by the way if, if anybody wants us to try out their beer and be yeah, a oh, and that it yourself is on here saying did oh, you finish there is. the beer yeah we, it's almost it's done delicious. uh so if anybody wants to wants to have their beers sampled on the live hit me up on instagram dm me and we would love to do it no pressure of course but right if you're interested a lot of people are always like you it. should try this beer like send it over we'll try it yeah we'll try just about anything we like Mikey. Mikey. Mikey likes it. <laughs> we might not like it. No. Probably will. Uh, use to heat the shop. Not uh, too picky. Riley, we use, it's, it's a mini split. It's a Mitsubishi mini mm. split. HVAC It's like system. a little heating and air conditioning. They call it a mini split. Uh, they also call it I mean, it in a, Alaska, um, I would think that you would really need one of these. Oh, we no. You don't want this for Alaska. Oh, because never mind. It's, you would not want this. So the problem with these is that um, they don't work really well in low temperature because it's, well, like, it's electric heat. So you... You know, you probably want gas heat yeah. out there because uh, especially. Well, like a chick I know that lives in Minnesota, somebody was asking her like how she deals with the cold temperatures, like being so cold. And she said they have they have normal heating in their house, like gas heat or whatever, but then they also have a wood burning stove. So I don't know if that's yeah. more common in colder climates that yep. you have two different. I mean, that would be really nice to have. Yeah. It's cozy. <clears throat> uh, Kevin, is a router lift really worth it? Yes. A router lift. It's like in the router table. Oh, yeah. Um, I know they're pricey. I mean, it's just so convenient. I guess it depends upon, it, it always depends, right? Depends on how much you use it. But if you use it enough, man, it's so nice to have like above the table. Um, that's the biggest thing is having above the table adjustment on your bits and being able to change the bits without, because I used to not have it. I used to not have a router lift and I'd have to take it down and undo it and then come up under and then like look at it as I'm trying to adjust it and tighten the, tighten the base around it. Like it's just such a pain. Um, so as far as like ease of use, if you are changing router bits and using them in a table a lot, I'm going to say yes. And you can, there's a wide mm -hmm. variety of different ones you can get to. I mean, I think you can get them as cheap as 150, 175. And I know that's not uh, cheap, but I think it's well worth it. If you, if you use your router table, at least, at least even occasionally, you know, because every time you use it, you can be like, this thing's awesome. And you'll have it for the rest of your life. So, you know, buy once, cry once. James says that the wind chill was in negative 79 degrees. That's not even possible. I don't know. I just asked is him where like he is. Kelvin? He was talking about the mini split not keeping up where he is. Oh, yeah. Where, I don't remember. That's Yeah, insane. so they, I think they say that. No, he said Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, honey. The, the mini split is only good till, I think <clears> once it gets below... Definitely below zero for sure. It might even be like below like 20 or 16 or I don't know. Or something where it, because it's a heat exchanger, 
And oh. so it's it's using that to help it. Right. Um, and so, you know, you, there's not enough heat in the air for it to even right. do that. So makes sense. That's a problem with, with those. And it supplements it with electric heat. So I said it's electric heat, but I, the whole thing's electric. Like there's no gas in it. Um, so it's, it's all heat exchanger and electric. Gotcha. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. crazy. All mm. right. I feel like I'm way behind on my comments over here. But. Catch Picked up. up all the wood to build the Shop Nation outfeed table. Oh, dude, that's awesome, Andrew. Uh, yeah, Travis makes some cool stuff. I think that one looks really fun. Uh, Isaac, which palm router or smaller router do I recommend? Right now, I just have a plunge router. Um, you know, there's a, there's a ton of great uh, palm routers now, honestly. I, I don't, I can't think of one that I would not recommend other than, let me rephrase that, from the big brands. So I think I, I haven't used, I haven't personally used them, but I've never, I've seen lots of people loving the, I've got the Rigids, they work great. I've had a Bosch Colt. It worked great. Um, the DeWalt, Makita, Milwaukee. I don't think you can go wrong with any of those, quite frankly. I, I would just look at, you know, ask here, ask other people, you know, if, if other people have input on the, the palm routers, which ones do you guys use? But they're just so nice to have, man. The, the biggest thing I guess I would say, uh, I will say, look for one with dust collection. So the rigid, just the newer version now has it, but the previous versions did not. I know the Milwaukee new one has it, and I think there's add-ons for the uh, Mitsub uh, not the Makita, and I don't know about the DeWalt. I assume there probably is, but I would make sure to get one with dust collection because that is kind of, a, you know, especially <laughs> for me, I don't like having all the dust flying everywhere, so having dust collection on those is nice. So you might want to check that out and, and make sure that it comes with a dust collection port. Toby Fultz, I'm glad you're expanding the side hustle, man. Thank you so much for uh, the kind words. All right, what do we have here? Um, throw throw burrito. <laughs> I am. I'm way behind. She's talking about throw throw burrito. I'm, I'm still catching up. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's you talking. I was like, who's this talking? <laughs> oh, it's you. It's <laughs> me. Uh, Robert A. Akins, CNC lathe news. Um, when you say CNC lathe, are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I don't have. What a CNC lathe, I'm, a lathe to me is like, when I think CNC lathe, I think of a metalworking lathe. Um, and I don't plan on doing any lathe work anytime soon. And I do plan on doing CNC work and no new news on that part. Just it's there, been using it, having fun. I had a very, very, very bad pun to make, but I restrained myself. I appreciate that. As well. uh, you just saved those for me. Doing it a little <laughs> I like that. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, yeah, an inverter plus plus, which is down good down to negative 13. Woo! That's crazy. That is. Um, there's no negative temps in Kelvin. See, Jonathan, I, I, don't, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just like to throw words out. I <laughs> uh, can't cut it in the basement, so I have to bring the saws outside to cut. Lipinski, what the heck? I think the basement's usually, like when we used to have a basement, it was always like 62 down there, like any time of the year. Now it, it never got, it never got brutally I, I cold, like below colder. zero. It could, but it just seemed because it's like geothermal, you know, it's like down in the, in the Look earth. Look at you, geothermal. 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 It's geothermal. Um, so it's like, you know, it's, it's not that geothermal. I mean, a little bit. It's not like we're in like mammoth cave system or something. We're just down the floor. Yes. I mean, I would agree. It's always cooler in the summer, but I think it Listen, gets freezing in the winter. It's geo. It's geo. I yes. feel like, I mean, can we just talk about, about how, um, can we talk about it. Can we talk about, no, about how science people are really having their moment on as YouTubers. Oh yeah. Like all these women and men, mostly men on YouTube that I've seen, honestly, that are like, There's like a lot of big, big women there. who, who's uh, a good like science woman, the science girl. There we go. That's a great name. There's one. There's another, there's a couple, but the science girl I know of, and then there's Another one. I'm going to have to go like, check them out. You know, and Subscribe. Simone is not necessarily oh, science. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, and maker. what's her name in Germany? Um, not only really science. Well, kind right. of. Laura physics. is not. Laura, Laura Kampf. Kampf. Yeah. But anyway, my point is. Oh, no, it's the physics girl. It's the physics girl. There okay. might be a science girl and a physics there could girl. Be. I'm sure there's a. I'm sure there's both, Surely. But I think it's the physics girl, the one I'm thinking of. But, but my ahead. whole point is, I feel like so many of the really huge, like really cool um, 
super interesting channels like Mark Rober um, and the dude that is always like setting off rockets. Um, Destin? Yes, probably. Smarter every day? Yes, yeah. Like they're just a bunch of science guys, you know, and then now there are women that are like. Veritasium? Up these Veritasium awesome, is one of my favorites. Awesome stuff. Um, like, there are a lot. Just love it. Vsauce. It's like does. really exciting, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, Whereas, like, I think when we were in high school in science scientist. class, it didn't feel very exciting. But no. now, like, these science Listen, teachers can be like, look what you could do. The nerds are having their days. They really are, you know? It's great. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm you do learn a lot too. Which I'm just is not great. a big enough nerd, unfortunately. No, you're like an engineering nerd. Yeah, you know. I mean, you are. Yeah. You're an efficiency nerd. Yes. You could have more efficient every day. That could be. That would actually be right in your more wheelhouse. More efficient every day. More efficient <laughs> every day. Uh, Glenn Stryker, am I still rocking the Craig router lift? Uh, no, I, I never had the Craig router lift. I'm using the uh, Jet one that comes in the router table. But actually, I'm, I am. Uh, looking at the Craig one because I might be switching out my router table to the Craig one. So if I get that, I'll be sure to let you guys know about it. Oh, that right. water's so good. It's so good. All right, Katie Darnell has the stuff in the garage, a propane heater. Should we be covering our table saw when not using it? Um, it it's not a bad idea, Katie. You, you don't, so the biggest thing about uh, a table saw obviously is just rust. And so that's what you're trying to protect from is rust. So if you have an unconditioned space, uh, what's going to happen is that that cast iron is going to get really cold because it's going to just soak the heat out of the mm. out of the air. It's going to that doesn't make sense. Soak it out of the air. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be clammy, right? So it's going to get cold. It's going to have the it's going to have the the cold. Um, so like when the moist? dew point. So then if the water. I'm just like, I'm just ignoring <laughs> you. It's just ignoring So it, when there's humidity in the air, there's a temperature change and there's more humidity in the air, it's going to go to that cold, just like it does on a, on a glass of, of water, of ice water condensation. That's right. going to be the top of your cast iron tabletop. Look at you having a science moment here. Blue. So <laughs> <laughs> this is my new tagline. Very <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a cooler dab. Like yeah, you don't yeah. fully dab. It's like a science dab. It's a science uh, dab. And so it's a laser beam. <laughs> I think I, that's a new one, the science dab. Uh, <laughs> I'm changing it because then that'll be a good thumbnail of me, of me uh, doing that. True, very well, true. What's our timestamp here? 5209, science dab. We got to get it. the information. I do because like, I, I take this time. Uh, but yeah, so that's what you're trying to protect against, Katie. And, and so uh, <laughs> having, a, having some type of cloth or something will, uh, will help protect that because if there's any condensation, it'll just get soaked up by the, by the cloth there. Um, but if you also uh, just wax it, so that's what I do with mine. I don't cover mine up. I mean, I'm in conditioned space, but even when I wasn't, I never covered it because it's, it's a pain in the butt, right? You got to lower the saw blade. You got to move the fence. Um, whereas you can wax. I just use a paste wax, like a Johnson's paste wax. There's also products like um, T9 Bow Shield and sprays that you can spray over to help prevent rust. But that's what you're trying to avoid. Just trying to avoid the rust. And there's several ways to do it. Yep. All right. What else we got? I don't know. You don't know you're, you're like on it. I'm just looking at. Chris. How, how's Chuck working out? Scott, Chuck, Chuck, uh, he's, you know, mm -mm. he's got a place in my heart. Uh, and if you don't know who Chuck is, stay, stay tuned. tuned. <gasps> Jinx. Black the kids out. would totally be jinxing you right now. Yes. Um, yeah. Taco. I know. JP, I need some tacos, bro. I feel like we need to have a sidebar. It's the last yeah. 10 minutes. So if, if you want to know about what? Chuck, uh, all of the, the folks oh. in the Builders Club, Got a they sneak know. preview of Chuck. Chuck is a, my new shop helper. They're so, in the know. Yeah. Okay, sidebar, everybody. What is your favorite Valentine's Day candy or treat? Mm. Oh yeah, Jeremy Felding is a great one, Jeff. Is there a good? Is there a good Valentine's Day candy, or is it all just like chocolates? It's not like uh, Easter where you can be like peeps. Like I didn't see. I looked for you for some peeps. Did you? I was peep gonna me? give you peeps because Brad loves peeps, but I do no. Love peeps. They did not have any out for love, Valentine's like, I was, Day. Surprisingly. I was one of those kids. Then I would just take, and my middle child is like the spitting image of me. He really is. Because I would just take a package of sugar and just like at the, <laughs> at the restaurant, you know, like I'd sneak them and I'd like, and just pour it in my mouth and just like, just, Which is just so suck funny on the sugar. And you're just, like, but you're very balanced about it now. I am, but I'm still got a sweet tooth. True. And he really does. But like, he is a lot like you in a lot of ways. He is. But yeah, no, I don't know. Like, does anyone have, is like, like chocolate dip strawberries? Like, like is there anything where you're like, yes, 
Valentine's Day, I'm going to get that candy? Or is it like, do you have a tradition? Do you always have a certain chocolate cake or something? I don't know. Uh, Toby, I do plan on working me. with Anne at some point. Anne's a good friend of mine and oh, she's, she is yeah. local. Uh, we've kind of, we had something on the books and then COVID came up and we decided we'd just take a hiatus on that and she was trying to do her shop and everything. So uh, I do plan on doing something with Anne at some point in time because she's, you know, she's not too far away. Hey, Foxhall. Foxhall is saying that he's going to be in Franklin and Nashville because one of his clients is opening a new children's urgent care, which is oh, cool. Nice. Check out, That's and he wants tacos. Get Mohos, Ooh, go to Moho's, Moho's tacos, tacos at the factory in Franklin. Yes, uh, I think that's their only location. They're they're awesome, but they're really good. And then if you're looking for other food, Puckett's is uh, always good. And there's one downtown. There's also one in Franklin, and it's like a local yeah. chain. Andrew, so, Andrew is is I love it. Andrew, Bat, Andrew asked this question at like uh, like seven forty five or something, and I was like, hey, well, I'm starting at nine. Uh, <laughs> Was hiring uh, hiring at one million subs a business goal or or just a coincidence? And oh, I did see that. Yeah, and that's a great question. And it was Sweet. a coincidence. So it was not um, like oh, I want to wait till I hit a million subs before I you know, bring somebody on. Uh, that's not what it was at all. Uh, and 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 actually, you know, we hit a million back mm -hmm. in September, mm -hmm. and we're just now hiring. So you know, it's, it's, more of it's a coincidence. been it's been five months. Um, but it took a long time for the video to come out about the million sub story. Um, so yeah, absolutely just a coincidence and something I should have done well before 1 million <laughs> subscribers, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things that there's so much going on. Uh, we, you know, at the end of the year, what we ended up doing is like at the end of the year, we took some time to, to look at the business and think about, about what was going well and what we could do better and, you know, how we're going to continue to make this thing be more, more beneficial for you guys and grow and, and do more content and cooler stuff and all this thing, all these things. And it became very clear that we needed somebody to help us. And I needed specifically somebody to help full time. So like we have an editor right now, Scott, who's awesome. Uh, but I need, I need more than that because like, you know, like I haven't posted on social media. Like I've posted like two posts in like the last three weeks. Uh, that's part of it. So, so yeah, it was just one of those things to help us grow. We finally decided to, to pull the trigger and, and thankfully we can, we can do that at this point. Uh, any candy that's 75% off. I just delicious. laughed at that. That reminds me, when I was teaching previously, I had a student that, I don't think I ever told you this story, um, that she, she cracked me up, this was a high school student, and she was Greek, like her whole family is very Greek. There was a big Greek community in the district where I taught, and they, the Greek Orthodox Church, I guess, at least that year, maybe always, they'd celebrate their Easter like a week or two after everyone else's Easter. And she would crack me up because every year she'd be like, I swear, it's just that we want to buy the Easter candy 75% <laughs> off. I'm like, That'd that's be a good awesome. Idea. That's a have, great deal. Like get this, like, yeah, uh, get get like a, like a penny pincher movement where you celebrate all holidays yeah, a week yes. later. Well, especially all holidays, holidays that involve candy, which is really all of them. But like Easter, like, yeah, you see tables full of that stuff in Halloween yeah. candy, like the day after. Easter, Nobody Halloween, wants to buy it Christmas. at that point. Well, yeah, yes. we'll, just, we'll move them all back. That's a way to do it. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. I give you full permission next year. If, if you're going to buy me candy, let's just like buy it the day uh, after. Microwave peeps. I microwave like peeps are yeah. good. Mm. Tasty. Just all peeps are good. I only like a Tasty. little bit of peeps though, but you, you're a big fan. I like the peeps. I, I mean, it's just like, you know, it's, it's back to my childhood about rip a, ripping open a pack of sugar and throwing it in your mouth. <laughs> it really, it's like a marshmallow <laughs> coated sugar. Well, no, sugar coated marshmallow. Right? marshmallow yeah, sugar coated sense. marshmallow. Yes. I can't think. Uh, uh, the Builders Club taco party, JP. I, yeah, it sounds like a plan to me. We, we need, we, we need to all get our vaccines first. Uh, we're, we're going on vacation with my, my parents, uh, for spring break, we're, we're just going to go to a cabin in East Tennessee. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to socially distance there. Yeah, and so we're, my, my, both my parents just got the vaccine. They are uh, so my, excited. My dad is yeah. still waiting to get his follow-up one. Mm -hmm. And so they are, like, so ready to go do stuff. Oh and gosh, we've been, like, so we've been pretty well holed up. So, so yeah, so we're not, we're not uh, getting out in the public right now because no. we're just trying to, like, get past all that uh, and you know. Yeah, we're trying to be smart about it. I mean, and- But once my parents exposure. have the vaccine, they're, yeah, you, they'll be down on Broadway. Oh my gosh. Pooping it up, I they'll think. Be, <laughs> they'll be doing everything. But yeah, we're trying to be smart about it. Yes. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Andrew, am I worried about the editing? Keith Johnson said he's not ready to give up the editing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I'm not worried about it at all, Andrew. I've, I've had um, I've had an editor for the last nine months. Yeah. So Scott has been editing for us. We're just getting a, a full time editor now, and, and um, it's. I don't think there's any, I get it because I did fear that for a while, but the reality is, is it's your video and you, uh, as a, as a content creator, you're the one that pushes publish and you're also the one paying the editor. So it's not like somebody edits for me and then I, I just throw them the, the files and go, Hey, give me back a bit. Like, no, I'm extremely hands-on. I tell them exactly how I want it edited and they do. And I, you know, I want to hear their, their input and feedback, um, on how to make it better which is great. And, and Scott has helped add different things to the videos, which has been, has been awesome. It's always good to have a second set of eyes and just yeah. a second brain to be thinking about things. But uh, no, I don't, I don't think you have to worry about that at all because you control it. If you don't like the way it's, if you don't mm -hmm. think it's portraying how you want to do it, you just tell the editor to change it. Like it's not, you know, you're not hiring you're not giving an artist control. to be like, yeah. hey, make a painting of me. And like, you know, it's in their form. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do that, but that's not how I do it. I'm, I'm hiring somebody to do the work well that I want them to do and add their flavor as, as salt, right? So they'd be like, Hey, what, what do you think about? And it's like, they're, they're giving me suggestions. What do you think about this? I'm like, I love that. That's awesome. Like I would, I would never have thought of doing X, Y, or Z. Um, I just don't have to do it. Right. And so they know how they, and I have them like watch my videos and I'll show them and they'll give me an edit and then I'll go in and say, here's how I'll, I would change it. And here's why. So here's how I want the videos edited so that they fit how I want them to be. So that's, that's kind of the nature of how we do it and how, you know, most people do because yeah, you, you know, that'd be horrible, right? To give it to somebody else and then you get it back and you're like, I would never have made that video. Right. Like you just wouldn't publish it. Jonathan says you should play Chubby Bunny on air one night. Oh, I should. I, I could fit about 32. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what? Oh, I just, I, I was hitting the peeps and I saw distilled vinegar in a glass of water. What? Distilled like, vinegar? I was probably somebody talking about rust. Oh, uh, oh yes. tips to renew old rusted handles. Isaac. Makes sense. Um, dude, you should check out, so WD-40 has a rust soak remover that I've used. It is great. Um, they, it's available, I believe, at Home Depot. Um, it works awesome. I, I used it, um, I used it on, uh, if you look at my how to build garage shelving video, it was actually an ad, they're a sponsor. Uh, they oh, sponsored yeah. that video. Mm -hmm. And I used the rust oak remover on this cast iron that was sitting out in the garage, like under the shelving. And it just, mm -hmm. it just took it all off. It was awesome. That was impressive. It was impressive, very impressive. Uh, Michael, the Orthodox calendar runs 17 days behind the rest of the world. That is weird. I wonder why. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason. <laughs> Peeps are Satan's fruit. <laughs> You either love them or you hate them. They're, they're pretty divisive. Uh, uh, Katie says, commercially produced marshmallow is offensive. Right. She makes her own. I know. That's just fancy. I mean, That's like Martha Stewart level right there. I've, I'm, I'm waiting. Impressed. I'm waiting, Katie. I'll be the judge. Right. I mean, not that I'm going <laughs> to judge like beer you, or marshmallows. But I am. Or both. Yeah. Marshmallow of the week. <laughs> marshmallow <laughs> of the week. <laughs> I will totally eat that. Yes. I will throw all of my um, calories into that right there. Uh, average craftsman, how much editing does the editor do? All of it, or does he, she just get it to a rough state? Um, they do it all. Uh, yeah. They, I mean, well, no, they don't do it all. Um, he, <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. I mean, you guys know me, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm hands-on. I'm super detail-oriented. So I get it. I do some minor adjustments here and there. But uh, for the most part, I would say 95%-ish. And what, I'm, what I typically do after I get it, um, I'll typically tighten it up. Because I think that's one thing that, you know, as an editor, especially like Scott, he, like, he never wants to cut too much. Right. And, he'll, and when I say tighten it up, I mean like if I'm talking on screen, I'll be like, ah, that, this part doesn't need to be in here and I'll cut out 10 or 15 seconds. Right. Uh, we something like that. usually watch it together and... Yeah. yeah, and Susan and I have a little be like, You're a screening. Too much here. No, yeah, I'm we'll do kidding. a screening. Yes. And then, you know, I'll change. If I didn't like a cut on like house, I don't know, like just, just small little silly things that honestly nobody will, will understand or, or notice. Um, I'll do that here and there. But, um, but yeah, I let Scott do the vast majority and we will, um, I'll give him rounds of revision. So he'll give me an edit. 
I'll look at it and go, hey, change, boom, 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 boom. And I'll make notes for him in a uh, document. And he'll go in there and make all those adjustments. So say, yeah, I didn't like this music, change that up. Um, you know, when you did this, slow this down or, or totally delete this or, you know, let's go longer on this part, shorter on that part, stuff like that. It's like, you know, any, like any type of revision that you would do with somebody who's, yep. who's uh, doing digital work for you. All right, two things that are interesting here. Jonathan says the Gregorian cal calendar was adjusted by the Pope in the 1400s and was not universally accepted. <laughs> History. <laughs> They're like, no, nah, I'm out. Pope, no. we ain't doing that. No, the Pope said it and everybody else said, forget you, we're doing our, like, right? right it was adjusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Like Pope. And then um, Katie wants to know, and I think she's serious. Climb a tree. Did the marshmallows never show up? No. When, when did you send them? When did you send I was, them? I, I was literally... I we was gonna, would have remembered, Katie. No, I was going to go to the P.O. Box. Um, Today? To, so the last time I went to the P.O. Box was when I got the beers from Scott. Oh, it's been a bit then. What's that? It's been a little bit then. Which would be two weeks ago. Right. Because I got them on that night, so it would have been like two weeks in a day, right. I guess. Um, so if they showed up right, if you mailed them she in the said, last two I weeks. I sent a pound of peppermint marshmallows and chocolate dust and marshmallows. We are going to brave the ice. I know, but I, I, was, I was right there. I was right there. I and I was walk, like, I'll put snowshoes uh, on. I was Peppermint out there. Marshmallows. I was out there today, Katie, and I was like, I'm going to go down, but the, but the, it's down an incline and coming it back is up. It's down an incline. And uh, I was assuming they probably wouldn't have, actually, it's, it's a, it's Chocolate a government. Chocolate dusted marshmallows. It's a government property, so they probably would do it. Uh, she sent them a week the before Christmas. Wait a minute. Oh, Stop no. the presses. No, no, no. We, we never, got, we never them. got them. No. But you know what? I have heard. I have heard that there are people that are now getting packages. A week before Christmas now. No, no, there are people that are finally getting Christmas presents now. It was on the radio because <laughs> they're like, because like uh, the number of people that were mailing things that like it was a huge backlog. How bad are these going to be, Katie? But would you know? Like they're not going to like. How bad know, are they going to yeah, be? Yeah, like how long do they keep? Like are they, are, are we good? We if definitely up, would have die if we eat them? gotten them before then. I mean, peppermint and chocolate dusted. Sounds delightful. It sounds so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you for thinking of us and for sending uh, them. We did not get them. Dang. Uh, Dang it. I know. I know. Maybe they'll turn up. How long? Okay, Katie, just for our own benefit, what is the expiration date? Yeah, what's... Like, how long are these... Because I know you've got no preservatives. These, these things cocoa good? dusted. We like cocoa dusted almonds, so cocoa dusted marshmallows have, have got to be even chocolate, better. Chocolate, period. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. On milk, she's dark. I Yeah, I, I like every kind of chocolate. That's true. I don't, I don't discriminate. All right, let's see here. Andrew, what are the thoughts on the jet 8-inch helical head or straight knife planer? Is it worth the extra money? I believe that, um, I, I don't know. So I'll, I'll be straightforward and say I don't know the price differential. I want to say it's probably six or 700 bucks, but I don't know if that's true. Might be more than that. Um, the biggest thing that you get for me, the main benefits, one is noise because I have a shop that's in my house. Uh, so one is noise and I want to, you know, be loud for the neighbors because like helical heads are so much quieter than straight knives, like so much quieter. That sounds uh, really cool. Um, straight knives. Straight knives. It sounds like, like you're going to be like judo chopping. Yes. Wood. Uh, finishing the fin the, the finish of the wood. So uh, coming off and not having tear out, huge benefit. Because if you're doing anything that's got, uh, you know, grain undulation to it, then the straight knives will just tear it out. And if you feed it the wrong way, you know, you can get big chunks out of the, out of the board, which is never fun. I've had that happen a lot. Uh, so those would be the two bigs for me. The noise and then uh, being able to be less concerned about direction of the grain and figured wood. So, I, and, and then on top of that is like being able to like, if you have a small nick, you can nick in the in the cutter you could change the two or three or four in that line versus having to change your entire knives out so um i personally won't i don't plan on going back uh, and doing any straight knife tools in the future it's all going to be helical head uh yeah and uh yeah scott sent us some beer and it got here just fine <laughs> oh katie says no they would be super stale. She's going to make us oh. new marshmallows. Dang. Yes. So, yeah. 
uh, to come over and walk through and do stuff. Yeah, average craftsman. I would, I would totally, um, you know, just, just work through it with them. And I, I think you were asking earlier if they knew woodworking. It, it definitely helps. But um, I have several buddies that have editors, and some have had woodworking experience and some have not. And it just, you know, it takes a little bit, right? But after three or four videos, they figured out, like, this is the joiner, this is the planer. Um, so it depends upon the style of your woodworking. And if you need to match things up with what you're saying, um, but it's not anything insurmountable. They'll figure it out. I mean, you know, people are pretty smart. Woodworking is not rocket science. You just explain it to them. And, you know, if they don't catch up, then you know, maybe you need to move on. But I think most, you know, anybody that's, that's uh, pretty bright can figure that out pretty fast, I think. Uh, straight knives is a Civic. Helical head is a Maserati. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what else do we have here? <clears throat> I'm over here Googling chocolate. You're Googling chocolate? Katie told me to Google a chocolate company, and I'm Googling looking at their chocolate. stuff right now. Yes. Uh, Ka Ka Kazama? <laughs> Kazama chocolate? Kazama chocolate? Chocolate bars. <laughs> Just yes, got yes. Christmas cards from your brother-in-law and lives two miles away, Larry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> First of all, take a... Tell your brother-in-law to just drive his bike over and save the money. I never understand that. Like, we always just, if they're oh, local. Oh, if they're local, we just drop them Like, off. if they're. Well, because we probably see them, too. Right. We just give them to them. Here you go. We do. We're lazy well, like that. Actually, it's not really lazy. That takes a little bit more effort. What? They have tea? Yes. <gasps> Katie, they have tea. I love tea. I don't drink coffee. Susan is a huge tea. I'm a tea person. Tea fanatic. Strawberry white. Okay. On that note, I'm just going to yeah. go order a bunch of chocolate. All right. Well, on that note, we're, we're, we're it's like 10, 10 now. We got yeah, to get ripping. Got to go. We got to go. We got things to watch. <laughs> I've got a kitchen to clean up. So. Yes. All right, guys. All thank right. you for hanging out. Uh, we have fun as always. Hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day mm. and you had something sweet and something special. Um, Happy got, Valentine's Day. I got Day. both of those right here next oh. to me. Oh. <laughs> yes. Um, well played. Bam. <laughs> do, your, do your laser bolt thing. <laughs> Dude, that's what it was. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. All right, the, the science uh, dab. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we will catch you guys next Sunday. And uh, if we don't see you before then, uh, yep. we'll, we'll, until next time, see you next time. Until <laughs> next time, see you next time. We're going to go eat some chocolate. Yeah, we're going to go eat some chocolate. Yes. All right, guys, All right. you guys have a great one. Get out there and build something awesome this week. See you guys.